Okay, here's a new um, uh, setup that I'm asking for a little bit of help and advice uh, from anyone out there that's built these things and knows what to do with them. Um, I've got this on a capacitor scenario again, no battery, with a solar panel. And I want to show what this thing is doing. Maybe somebody out there has advice on what to do about this, but let me turn it on and show you what's going on. I'm going to connect the power supply, which um, is a solar panel that's uh, no load at 20 volts. Now I'm going to turn the motor on. Okay, now that's the capacitor loading up, the big capacitor right there. And that's the voltage on the um, motor, at the motor from the solar panel. And there's the load that is coming off the back end of the Bedini. And what this is is a night light, just a standard old night light. And I'm going to turn it off here, set the camera down a second. And there's the voltage climbing up in the capacitor and that's the energy I believe it's coming off the back spike of this Bedini motor I'll turn this back on and you can see the energy that stored up and was released out of that capacitor now it's going back down again and that stays the same the uh, voltage coming into the motor stays the same now I'm putting this into a capacitor on the coming inside the, the drive side here this is the drive and that's a 4700 uh, microfarad 35 volt cap on the drive side and on the charging side this is a 300 volt um, I believe uh, 30,000 or so microfarad uh, capacitor there. But anyway, the panel um, is a, a 15 watt solar panel. It's driving this thing. And what I'm curious about is, is there any other better way to go as far as this capacitor um, to utilize this energy? Because what I'm seeing is a whole lot of energy that's coming off the back side of the Bedini that's not affecting what's coming in. And if we could somehow figure out a way to capture uh, this uh, energy um, that is coming off the back, uh, that would really help things out a lot. Now this stuff that's going on here, this is just the generator part of it. Don't confuse this. This is the first part of my experiment where I use the, the motor in here as a generator with a a coil of wire going through a bridge rectifier, put it in series to charge up my rev up battery. This all this system does here is it lets me rev up the motor. And uh, this just recharges this rev up motor, goes up to a higher RPM when I do that. And it was a real neat way to recover some of the energy off the wheel, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but I'm doing it. So but anyway, that energy there is what I'm curious about. If anybody has an idea on what to do about this, when that thing climbs up and goes up to the 100 volt range, and it goes up in a hurry, and it doesn't affect that hardly at all, then you turn this thing back on, that thing just comes right on out into the, into the bulb. Uh, give me a comment. I'm curious what people have to say about this back end energy that I'm, I'm coming off of with that 15 watt solar panel and that's probably not even putting out 15 watts this was something I got on eBay it wasn't very expensive but uh, that's the the latest thing I'm real curious about is what do we do about this energy that's coming off the back end of this Bedini and it's it's high spike energy that uh, if we had the right capacitor set up and the right load situation, this is usable. This is stuff that we can use that's not being affected by the running of this motor. I mean, this motor is doing its thing whether I have the back end hooked up or not. It doesn't 